What's going on guys? Authentic Jays back again with another video. Welcome back. Hope everyone's having a great week so far. As you can see, I'm doing something new. I'm reviewing this paint right here. I've been seeing this paint a lot recently and I wanted to see for myself if it's actually worth it. And I'll be comparing this paint to the Angelus Black and the Angelus Flat Black. So this paint was actually made by Culture Hustle and they also made another paint that's called Mirror, the world's mirriest mirror chrome paint. Yeah, so I'm gonna open this up here, and as you can see, it's a very small bottle, but it does go a long way. I am planning to make a custom with this paint, but that is gonna be another video, so make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you'll know when that video drops. I'm going to review these paints by painting on a white leather sheet. I highly recommend to anyone who paints on leather or shoes or whatever to practice on something like this beforehand so you kind of know how the color will look when it dries and you can also practice on it without having to waste a shoe or a wallet or a bag perfect example of this is when you're practicing portraits as you can see from my terrible attempt at Kanye West this dude came out looking like Kanye East <laughs> oh, East? I thought you said weast. But anyway, I digress. Let me go ahead and explain these blacks real quick so we can get into the black 3.0. So this black is the most common black that most people start off with because usually when you're starting off, you don't even know the difference between the flat and the regular. But this black has a very noticeable sheen. Um, you're gonna know what I'm talking about when I'm comparing the two. I can't say one is better than the other because obviously it's based off of preference. But for my personal preference, I actually prefer the flat black. Another important thing to note is that both of these blacks are leather acrylic paints. So that's going to be very important when we're reviewing the black 3.0. If you feel like after watching this video, you prefer the flat black over the regular black, do not worry. Angelus thought of that and they came out with a duller. All you have to do is mix these two and your black should turn out flat. And now the black that you've all been waiting for black 3.0 quick shout out to whoever thought of the packaging design this is very clean very sleek i love the design i love the attention to detail that they put into this now let's open this bad boy up Ooh, so smooth again i love the attention to detail they didn't have to do what they did but they did and uh you just gotta appreciate it sometimes and you got the descriptions over here you got super flat super matte ultra pigmented acrylic paint and make sure to follow the do's and do nots, especially the do nots. Again, I have to mention that this does say it is an acrylic paint, but it is not a leather acrylic paint. All right, it's time for the comparison. Let's start with the regular black. I already went ahead and painted small swatches using the white leather that I showed before. And this is the sheen that I was talking about. Obviously, it is not matte at all. You're gonna see a huge difference between this and the flat, especially between this and the black 3.0. Another thing I have to mention is the difference between the acrylics and the leather acrylic paint, especially the overall flexibility of the paint. The difference isn't too noticeable, but that's what makes the leather paint a little better for leather. And now we got the flat black with the same flexibility, but a little duller. Again, if you're looking at this and you're liking this black a lot better than the previous one, you can mix the duller and it should come out the same. I think that's actually a little better because you can kind of control how matte you want to make your black. And here is a quick side by side comparison. The regular is on the left and the flats on the right. And now we finally got the black 3.0. Look at how black this is. It's super matte. It's so much darker in person. Obviously, there's light shining directly onto this, so you can't really see how black it is. But trust me, guys, this is super black. And two things that I have to go over with you real quick. One, as you can see, it is noticeably less flexible than the other two. And two, I put the same amount of paint on all three swatches. I put two layers because that's what the instructions said on the black 3.0. I know you guys can't feel the texture, but hopefully you can kind of get an idea through the sound. Thank you. 
and now we got all three side by side and you got the black you got the flat black and you got the black 3.0 Okay, so final thoughts. I do think this product delivered on everything that they claim. I personally would not use this on leather only because there is paint specifically made for leather and obviously the leather paint is going to adhere a lot better. I don't know how this is going to do in the long run where there's going to be chipping, but you know, for anything else, I feel like this paint will do the job. I mean, again, it was super black compared to the other paints and I tested out the paint on other products that wasn't leather and it did everything that it claimed. So I can't say anything bad about it. But if you guys want to see me make a custom out of this paint, go ahead and comment down below. And if there's enough people, I will. But again, preferably I'll stick with Angelus. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I am not sponsored by either of these companies. I had to go out of my way to buy both. I mean, come on, guys. I don't, I don't even have 200 subscribers. Like, I'm a nobody to them. So I don't know why people think that, like, I'm being paid to sponsor people, especially on my reviews. I'm not I'm not getting paid to do any of this. I'm just doing it because I want to help some people out. I know this paint really isn't cheap, so I don't want them to waste it if they don't think it's not worth the money. If it's not worth the money, it's not worth the money. So this, this was an honest, genuine review. I don't have anything to say bad about this because it didn't steer me in the wrong direction. It did everything that it said it was going to do. And yes, the black is super, super black. So if you guys like this paint, make sure to go out and buy it. But if you don't think it's worth the money, then stick with Angelus. But that's all for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.